Alright guys, we are going on another adventure today, but today is not really an adventure, we are going on a hunt! Ah, it reminds me of the hunt! I'm scared of the hunt! A hunt for what, you might ask? Well, it's quite obvious, we're hunting for PACKS! Alright, so here's the game plan. We've got three different locations that I'm going to be checking out today. The first location is going to be actually right over there. It's a bit of a walk away, but I don't mind walking because I actually like to use my legs. Uh, we're going to be going to the Dollar Tree first. Reason why we go to the Dollar Tree is because they have dollar store packs. Now, these Pokemon cards, they only have, what, only three cards per pack, but they're a dollar each, and that's a bargain. But, some, most of the time they don't have it, but it's good to see if the dollar store has it. Next, we're gonna go to this Walmart. This Walmart is where I get all my packs, and that's about it. <laughs> whenever, I'm, whenever I do a pack video, I usually uh, get it from this Walmart. And then, if that doesn't work, or if, if we just feel like going, we'll check to see if the local GameStop is open. That way... Uh, we could, they usually have a little, uh, booster packs in there somewhere, uh, usually, like, pack builders, where, uh, it comes, it just comes, like, with four packs, and then maybe some dice, maybe a little, a few sleeves, it's, it's those battle boxes, I think, I think, I think that's what they're called, battle boxes, yes, all right, let's go on an adventure in this fucking 90 degree weather, holy shit, <laughs> hey guys, uh, post editing Coro here. I originally was gonna show footage of me walking through the store and finding packs and everything, but uh, I, re I just I didn't realize that uh, I just didn't feel comfortable, you know, being that guy that was recording everything while I'm in the store in public. And while I was hunting for Pokemon packs. Um, it, there was a lot of people in the Walmart and in the, um, Dollar Tree that I was at, so, <laughs> I, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna show that. In fact, I'm just gonna do a time skip, and we're gonna go straight to the pack opening. So, with that in mind, initiate the time skip. Boom! Ah, ah, ah. Nice. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We just got back from the store, and we got packs. Now, this is Pokemon Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. Now, Rebel Clash came out uh, at the start of May, and has been out ever since. However, due to the fact that, you know, I just didn't have the money because, you know... I had to go on a uh, vacation, a little forced vacation. Um, I couldn't get any packs for any for you guys. However, now that I'm back at work, now that I've gone back to work, now that I have my job back and I got paid recently, I went out and I got myself some Rebel Clash. Now there is a target card for this for this set, and that is going to be the G I uh, what is it called the Gigantamax Toxtricity V Max a V Max card and that's gonna be this card right here now all right that was a gorgeous card wasn't it all right so same thing with Rebel Clash that I'm doing with the Lost Thunder set, where my target card for the Rebel Clash set is going to be that VMAX Toxtricity um, card. But if I pull that card, heck, if I pull that card today, um, well, I don't have to care. I don't have to go get any more Rebel Clash. But um, I will admit, Rebel Clash looks amazing. 
these are the four pack arts uh, that I was able to find at Walmart, and it looks great. All three starters uh, look like they're look they're great, and the boy, the V Max Tostricity. Look at that. So this is the guy that I definitely want to pull. This big dude right here, and that rainbow uh, V Max card is gorgeous. I know there's multiple different versions of it on this set, so. Let's start with the starters, and then we'll save Mr. VMAX here as the last pack. I only got myself four packs because, you know, I got to save myself some money to pay the rest of the bills. All right, so this is, uh, just, to make just to be sure, guys, I have not opened any Rebel Clash. This is my first Pokemon pack opening in literal weeks months even and i decided you know what the moment i get rebel clash i will open it on camera for the channel and here we are you know weeks and weeks of waiting so let me see ah okay i i still remember how to do this here's the code card Re revel in its glory if you guys pull anything from any of these code cards let me know I know that I have one of my personal friends, um, he knows who he is, that whenever I give him code cards, he actually has a higher chance of pulling uh, GX cards, EX cards, I think he's even pulled a rainbow once, I don't know if he, I don't know if he did that with, with me, but um, he, he has a much higher uh, luck than me, so... We have a nice little hair across here. Cool. Captious bucket. Huh. Now, that, now we're doing buckets now. Turfield Lane Stadium. I keep saying Turfield Lane. I also watch bar, uh, premier, Premiership Football. Um, Applin. I actually... I actually went from, like, really, like, disliking the design for Applin to really appreciating it. It's adorable. Hatena? Aracuda. Barracuda! I like that song. Uh, Galarian Mouth. Little mini Wolverine action there. A Surskit. Oh! Of Hollow Luxor... Oh, not hollow. Reverse Luxray. So look at that. That's actually really cool. I like that pull. We got a Seismitoad here. And, oh yeah, I forgot about the energy cards. No wonder I didn't pull anything. Ugh. Silly me. I have to get rid of that energy card. Alright. So, let's do the Cinderace pack next. And, I forgot to ask this, but how's everybody doing during the, uh... During the whole lockdown situation, I know, like, for a lot of places, a lot of restrictions are being lifted, and people are actually being able to go outside again. So, here is the code card for this pack. Check it out. Check it out. You got it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, surprisingly, when I went to go buy these packs, uh, the Walmart that I went to was actually super busy. So, oh wait, hold on. I'm not going to forget again. Energy. Ooh. I like this design for the energy cards uh, for this one. Especially for this water one. Where, you know, it's a water droplet and it, the energy themselves look like it's like something being dropped in water. So, I like this one for the, for the water energy. Alright. Do not fuckle with the shuckle. I don't know if I said this on camera, but shuckle... EX was my first EX card, and it was actually from the first Pokemon pack I ever pulled for in 11 years. It was from a dollar store pack, and it, I couldn't believe it, you know? Dollar store pack, and my fair, and those packs only come with like three cards inside, that's why they're only a dollar. And I pulled a Shuckle EX, and I knew like, like, I had to start collecting again, and it was a sign. Uh, Lucio. It's adorable. I don't know if you can see that. Why, why, why are you not focused? 
Look at that looks, yo. That's adorable. Uh, looks, yo. Durant, Durant. <laughs> Coffer. Coffer. Co now, now, now I want Coffer. Uh, Brunzor. Toxil. Little baby version of the, of a boy. Of a boy. Of a boy. Litwick. He's very lit. Lotad with its very small Mexican hat. Binacle. Uh, Binacle, yes. I keep calling... I swear, this Pokemon is the bane of my existence. Not because of its design, but because whenever I say its name, I end up saying Bionicle. Because I grew up with Bionicle uh, sets when I was a kid. So, alright. So, there should be one at the end here. Butterfree. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Next up, Blast Starter. Right. Let's see if the water types are going to give us anything good. Okay. Code card. Code card. Code card. Code card. Go card! Okay. One, two, three to the front. And the energy. Another water energy. I, I, I like that. I dig that. I dig that. Charger bug. Skuntank. Full heal. That's pretty dramatic art for a spray bottle. Grubbin. Wingull. Nato, how do you do? Shout out to Leonhart. Sorry, Leonhart, if I if I did that without your permission. Uh, Squovet. Cramorant. One of the most derpiest Pokemon I've ever seen, along with the uh, those derpy fossil Pokemon. And at the very end, ah, Toxtricity, but not the one we're looking for. Just a regular Toxtricity. That's uh, that's not bad. That's not me. This no bad. Alright. So now. The moment of truth. The moment. You have been waiting for. Or I have been waiting for. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how to talk. I don't know how to talk. But look at that gorgeous pack art. Hey editor. What do you think of this art? Look at it! <laughs> okay, en enough playing around. Enough playing around. I like how, like, these packs are actually a lot easier to open. I know that for the other packs, uh, for the other sets, it's... Like, one time I actually had to get scissors, and I had to be super careful. Uh, code card, that was upside down. Code card, code card, code card, code card. All right, one, two, three to the front. Let's see if we can get that rainbow rare, huh? All right, rainbow rare toxicity, or even the V Max. Um, drag cloak. That's pretty cool. Bronzong. Milo, by far the most buffest grass type trainer I have ever fucking seen. Hmm. Galarian Darumaka. I turn it again. Scythe! <laughs> Nose pass. Another wind goal. Magmar! Savior of the universe. It's a nice fire guard. Diggers B. And, oh yeah, I forgot to remove the energy. No wonder we didn't get anything good on that one. Oh well. Well... Those were the four packs that I had today, guys. Um, I know that sometime soon I'm going to be getting uh, a little bit more cash. I'm trying to get my hands on an elite trainer box that is for this set for Rebel Clash because I do want that Toxtricity Rainbow Rare VMAX card. That's a mouthful to say. <laughs> but thank you once again uh, for joining me in my living room um this has been coral 
and I'll see you guys in the next video.